Okay, so this time I made a, a video about uh, trying a new way to make hair. Um, I apologize for the black rectangle in the center at the beginning. It was just my... Uh, I, I didn't uh, notice my camera was on at the beginning. Uh, anyhow, um, usually I just uh, slap a few blocks on the head and uh, make them a bit round and call it a day and, and say it's hair. Uh, this time I, I saw um, another approach uh, uh, in the internet. Um, I think on Pinterest um, about using tubes, using uh, a multitude uh, of tubes and uh, forming each one as a braid or as a part uh, of the hair. So I tried this one and um, I'm pleased with the result actually. Um, yeah, you see I have finished my first, um, the first strand of hair. Um, currently working on the second one. Um, and the main tool I used is the extrude tool where I um, choose a uh, surface or in this case um, a group of edges and add another layer of edges or, or just just pull them out and um, yeah, you can see it add or, or yeah prolong the uh, effect you can you can see where I um, yeah there's, there's another tool the bridge tool where I connect two edges with a, um, with a with a plane. The main tool I use is, is really the extrude tool where I just, you can see it here, choose the edges I want to um, manipulate and pull them out so they fall or lie on the body as a strand of hair. Um, at the end, I usually use the close tool to um, make a, pa a, a, a plane that, that clothes the uh, tube at this point. And I use another tool to add uh, edges on the plane and uh, just pull out the uh, tip. So the hair gets more like hair works and less like a flat tube. Uh, yeah, I'm working on the third uh, strand of hair. You will see I will, I will jump a bit uh, uh, later on because um, it just started at a random point. I was um, thinking, okay, I don't know, uh, side somewhere in the middle of the head and work from there. Um, it's actually for a special project for someone um, who asked me if I would volunteer to contribute to a larger project or larger set and I it, it was an interesting idea so I said why not but and also it interested me because I just just before and I saw the uh, idea of, of working here of, of making it in uh, in a 3D modeling environment, I thought, okay, I know which tools I would use for this, I know my approach, I want to try it. And you will see later when, I, when I'm when uh, i done, when I'm smoothing it out, it, it looks actually a lot like hair. Right now, yeah, at the beginning I was really thinking, okay, interesting cut, uh, one, one side is... is, is um, either an undercut or completely uh, bald and the other uh, side has uh, long hair looks interesting um, but in the end it's it's a complete uh, long flowing hair do basically yeah you can see I, 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 I move the the sides around a lot um, trying to cover the head because usually you don't see uh, the skin of the head uh, through hair unless it's either broken as mine or um, or really weird cut or something very very short. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I and on multiple occasions I cut uh, the the strand in two um, to lo let it look more natural, so it looks less less like a mix or a, a bag of tentacles and more like actual hair that splits off and gives multiple uh, ends split ends if you say so. Haha. <laughs> In the end, I had a lot of yeah. I used uh, I I misclicked on a on a random uh, tool. I, I don't even know which one. Um, that's the good thing. If you work in three D, you can just uh, control Z and just uh, take it back, and <laughs> you're you're usually done. Um, and also uh, remember, I I uh, quick saved a lot on this um, because I always thought, oh God, please don't, uh, please don't. Uh, go out, please don't just uh, kill my progress and I quick saved a lot but in the end I could do the whole thing without a single uh, incident, without a single break and um, yeah, pleased with the results. Uh, what you want to see is how I put the uh, the textures on. Um, that was a little bit tedious, a little bit boring. I. Uh, you, you see the start of it just at the end before I cut it off, but uh, it is just. I I will do uh, I, will, I can do a tutorial or I can do a, um, a show show another time when I when I do another thing, um, how to do. Um, how to do textures or how to put the texture map on the object, um, so it is works on a flat surface, so you can actually work with it, but uh, not with this one. Yeah, and now I'm now I switched. I, I, I made the front because I was just thinking, okay, it looks n not natural enough. It looks like she hasn't any any hair on the um, uh, on the forehead on the front. It's it's weird. Um, it's it's a female um, hairdo. I I worked on the on the um, female uh, base body. I used the Gen two. Um, the environment I use is, is hexagon. Uh, most people use, I think, um, Blender or other programs. I well, I, I started with hexagon. I started working with hexagon a few years ago. I think two years or, or th yeah, two years ago or three years ago. I don't know. Um, a couple of years ago, um, I started with working with Death Three D. Um, just for rendering and just for, for uh, doing stuff and I um, quickly uh, noticed that buying stuff is really really expensive so I looked into uh, solutions and one of the solutions I found was to uh, make this stuff yourself so I started making my own 3D models of uh, mostly clothing but I progressed to hair at some point and um, yeah this is a new uh, way of making uh, hair, but I really like it. The uh, overall time just to make the model was about an hour fifteen, and um, I use a, I need another forty-five minutes to uh, finish up with all the uh, textures actually. Yeah, I already did the back. I am on the second side now. Um, the four panes are um, perspective view where I can rotate uh, basically around the uh, model. The front view is on the top right. On the top right. Um, you can already see there if I scroll out a bit, um, maybe later, that it already looks like a kind of hair, um, left view, right view, you see them. Um, um, I, I don't use much the top view because the scrolling in and out is horrible. It always jumps a lot around. So so I'm already jumping in the model instead of on top of the model and closer. Uh, but it's, it's good if you want to um, move a few uh, spots. Or if you want to rotate it in certain ways. Yeah, um, you will see that I at, at some points I uh, switch the uh, uh, the the paints. I use uh, uh, front and back um, in 
I, I change them, I, I alternate, I use left and right alternating, of course. Um, also, you see a few breaks in between because I was talking to people at the same time, sometimes about the project I'm working on, sometimes just uh, other people who uh, I was uh, writing with. So, yeah, uh, I'm sorry for the few breaks where you have to wait a few m seconds or maybe a minute before it progresses. But that's life. Yeah, this was actually an interesting point because I was uh, thinking, okay, where would I go? Uh, where, would, where would I go with the hair? And I, w I don't want to shove it all into each other and under each other. Um, I want a creative solution. I want to look at natural, as natural as possible. And so I, I wound it up and about each other because it's just open and flowing in the end. And I'm, I'm actually happy with how it turned out. I think we're a good amount of done right now. Um, there, there's only a few tubes, if you so will, a few strands of hair left uh, to do. Um, yeah, covering up all that uh, 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 skin so it doesn't look weird or doesn't look bald. Uh, also, there comes, I think, uh, there comes, you know, there com uh, exactly, there comes the crossing again. I, I'm cropping the, the hair again. Um, you see me working on the different panes, um, wherever the three arrows is, or the two arrows, respectively, on the on the side panes, um, front and, and, and uh, left or right. Um, it's where I currently am with the mouse. The speed of the video is times four, so um, if you would somehow um, slow it down to one quarter of the time, you would uh, see the actual work speed. Uh, I know the quality is not the best, um, you can't read the numbers really good, but I don't think that's really important. Um, that's a really quality also means it's actually visible. Um, it's actually uh, handleable for um, my PC to uh, render and to uh, grab it all and to work with it without breaking down. Okay, uh, that's, a, that's the point where I cheated a little bit, because you can see the tube I just made, the last one is open at the end. I, I didn't uh, close it, I didn't make a, a finish of it, I didn't uh, make, make, a, make a point at the end, I just uh, uh, hid it between the other strands out of laziness and all, but also because I was thinking, okay, where would I where would it come out anyhow, why not just stop right there? Yeah, I, I, initially, I initially thought about normal bangs on the front, but I um, got another uh, picture of what I was to make um, where there were no bangs and instead it was fluffy, uh, so I uh, just uh, decided to switch it up a bit to move uh, to, to just make make a few more um, a few into tentacles or if, uh, uh, strands of hair um, in the front too. Um, also another split. Those gave me quite a problem when I made the the texture. Uh, um, the, the uh, texture on top because I had to really look how to cut or how to uh, where, where to make the seams so I can put the just uh, the more complex shape on a on a 3D uh, on a 2D map where, where how can I uh, how can I put it on a 2D map without it looking weird without it um, staying over itself without overlapping. Um, yeah, I'm almost done. Um, um, I will. I, I, I later um, after I had a first sketch and and talk with the uh, person who were making the the actual program. I um, flattened out a bit, but um, it's basically the same. 
yeah, right now I'm just trying to get a little uh, volume in the hair, so uh, I don't. I didn't want the hair to just be flat, to just be uh, falling down. I wanted it to have a bit of, of curviness, of, of waviness, of, of fluff. Um, so I just uh, uh, picked off every single strand I made. I think it's four. It was fourteen in the end, thirteen or fourteen, um, something about uh, that. And um, I touched each and every single one and just try to make it a little bit more irregular, a little bit more uh, fluffy, a little bit more, I, I wanted to add a little bit more volume. I, I didn't want um, just plain volumeless hair, I wanted it to uh, really see like hair, to really look like hair, not see, look. So I just, I mean, in the end I took random uh, edges, random planes sometimes and just pulled them and, and moved them somewhere um, where I thought, okay, it gives a little bit of, of volume, of fluff, of anyhow, and um, now I just uh, smoothened it by, by, by uh, two, which means I just gave it a little bit of smoothness, which just makes it look more natural, more as hair because otherwise it would have edges everywhere.